Okay, this episode, we're going to talk about watchkeeping. Watchkeeping on Anacam. It may vary quite some to what you do on your vessel. But I, be- I believe that there is no compensation for using your ears and your eyes when you're on watch. The law of the sea states that one must keep a good lookout at all times. On Anacam, depending on how fast we're going, if we're just chuffing along at eight knots or less, we'll go up about every 18 minutes. 18 minutes and have four full 360 degree scans of the horizon and everything within, looking out for other vessels. At night time, provided they've got their lights on, you can see them from a long way off. And 18 minutes is usually what it takes for a vessel to close the gap down to where you are. Especially a commercial ship that's chuffing along at 18, 20 knots, sometimes a bit faster. An Anacam would look a very second hand, so would we. Inside Anacam look very second hand if we bounced off the front of a coal carrier or a large commercial ship or any other vessel as far as that goes. So keeping a physical watch is very important. This episode, we're going to cover how we enhance our watch keeping by using our radar. This is our Raymarine E80 chart plotter. It was the original chart plotter that came on board Anacan when we first purchased it, first laid eyes on it in Croatia all those years ago. And it is still working fine. It might be old, mightn't be able to get spare parts for it, but we are still using it. It is not our be all and end all. We have several other systems on board, including paper charts for navigation. It's very easy to flick or to change our um, chart plotter to a radar only setup. Just hit page, next button along, and all of a sudden, bingo, up comes the radar. And as you can see, the solid lines along one side are the south bank of the river, all of the houses that overlook the water. The north bank of the river, made up from this solid line over this side. It might be low, but we're still getting a good signal off it. And over here, is one vessel, another vessel, another vessel, and another vessel. There are lots of vessels around us. And we get stolid signals back off them. And this one out here seems to be the one that is moving. So I'll get a target track on that one vessel. Move our cursor out to it. Acquire target. And it won't take long at all. I'll shift the cursor away. It'll come up with a course and speed. He's 180 degrees true from where we are, where Anacam is facing at the moment. And it says he's doing 1.4 knots, no, 3.7, 7.4, getting closer to what he's really doing. 10.1, it's just one of the little creek boats. Someone out trying to catch a prawn or three. As you can see, this has got a preset alarm. If a vessel is moving and comes within one nautical mile of us, you will have an alarm go off. Acknowledge the alarm. And there it is. That vessel was going through within one nautical mile of where we were anchored. So at sea, if something comes in within one nautical mile, the radar will warn us. This um, radar, Raymarine radar, says it goes out to 24 nautical miles from where we are. That is two nautical miles, four nautical miles each ring. And it's meant to be able to pick up targets out to 24 nautical miles. That's what they're stating. But being realistic, on a very flat night when we're sailing along, if we can see out to 18 to 20 miles, that's about as far out as we can physically see. So look, And that is usually plenty of time to dodge, take evasive action, make radio contact and be aware of what is around us. We did have one close encounter, what I class as a close encounter, with three other vessels as we were sailing between Fiji and Vanuatu. It was only an hour and a half before sunrise and we picked up three targets on our radar. 
three targets when going up and having a look emitted no lights whatsoever, no navigation lights, no steaming lights. They were definitely other vessels. We could see marks like this one here, which that's definitely a vessel, it's a trimaran, just anchored right behind Anakam. Up here is another motor yacht, and these gave very good clear signals. They were traveling together. They got within about three and a half nautical miles from where we were, and yet there were still no visible signs of lights. It was a good calm night, flat night. We were sailing along, pushing our boat speed up around seven and a half, eight knots. And then, just before the light came up, the light was starting to beat them. They got within about three and a half nautical miles of us. They veered off and went due north from where we were. We can only surmise what they were. Whether they were up to no good or not, we will never know. We can presume that they were black fleet boats. Black fleet boats, uh, there's heaps of them out there and we heaven only knows what they're up to and what they are out to gain. The other way we use our radar is to be situationally aware. In real time, we can see where the solid objects, the land mass is. When we're coming into a strange bay or a strange harbour and it happens to be night time, if we deem it safe to do so, we will come in using just our radar and trusting our chart plotter to get us in there safely. To use our radar to go in and have a look at what's around us when we're coming in will reduce the scale right down so each ring is around about 1 16th of a nautical mile. Maybe out one more to 1 8th of a nautical mile. Therefore, you can see we are right in the centre of the green rings, the green circles. That is where Anacam is, that's where the radar is right now. Along that side of us, the solid is the riverbank, and the other side is the riverbank, and we can see we have clear way to go, provided we dodge these other vessels if we were underway. That is how we use our radar to show us in real time where we are, what's around us, it is very good for being situationally aware, especially at night time when you can't see where you're going or in heavy fog. The radar comes into its own. But as I said, it is not the be all and end all of watch keeping. Nothing beats using your eyes and your ears to see what is around you. Just remember to hit the like and the subscribe to help us out, to help our channel grow. It would be very much appreciated.